Good morning, I think. I don't know because I'm pretty sure my dog just threw up for no reason. Did you just throw up clear? Either he threw up water or he spit a lot. By the way, I know everyone's gonna comment on this. Relax, it's not a hickey. I scratched my neck in the morning, okay? Because I know people are gonna get on this and be like, oh my god, he's got a hickey? Who did that? I'm 25 years old, I don't have a hickey. In my videos all the time, people are like, oh my god, he's got a hickey. No, I have razor burn. You think I'm getting hickeys every weekend? It's razor burn, okay? My skin's very sensitive in the winter. I'm made of bitch. By the way, some more good news. Skip the gym today. I'm not going there, no shot, because I woke up, and for some reason my room looks like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves turned that place into a fuck dungeon. There's stuff everywhere, and I don't even know if that's for me or the dogs, if they're throwing stuff around, opening drawers but I have no idea how I, I messed my room up in two days because I just cleaned it. Also, Christmas is getting pretty close and I still have to wrap some presents and I'm awful at that. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me wrap a present so you can see how awful I am. You're gonna tell me people didn't fuck in here? 100%, someone came in here and had sex with multiple partners and just left the place. All right, cleaned up the orgy, looking very nice now. Quick piano break. Playing the piano is one of my many talents, and when I say talent, I mean just watching someone play that exact shit 1,000 times on YouTube until I'm able to play it. I don't read music, I don't write it, that's for fuck sure. I just watch people play and mimic them until I can play it. Dedication, you know? You could, pr you could pretend you're talented and stuff. Alright, now I gotta wrap these gifts. Gonna need wrapping paper. Some tape, scissors. We're gonna eat the scissors, let them go, bud. Dart. Tissues. Notepad. Just in case. And a basket. All right, so I have cut out a piece of wrapping paper for the box. First thing you wanna do, fold up. Boom, like that. Put your foot on it, use your feet, okay? That's why we have them, to wrap presents. Take a piece of tape, very sticky. Smells like jizz, kinda, weird, okay? Tape that son of a bitch down, all right? Take your hand, punch your dog in the ass, okay? That's step two. Step three, take another piece of jizz tape. Step four, get the fuck out of the way, man. Step five, roll this bitch up. Take your jizz tape, lock this down in position. Boom, okay? We're almost home. Now, here comes the tricky part that I don't have the answers to. Everyone has a different method of how they do the corners and how to make the present complete. Uh, but what I like to do is fuck it up. So the first thing you wanna do is just kinda just Press it in, all right? Damn it. So, and then you just kind of fold it like that. That's bad, I can't do that. All right, we're gonna restart. Sometimes you restart in life, you know? Recharge your batteries, restart from the beginning to see where you went wrong. I went wrong as soon as I turned the camera on. So now we're gonna fold this, try to make it into a point. And we're going to then, mm, boom, put that there, big toe on it, jizz tape, and bam, all right? And uh, yeah, you go ahead and just boom, just fold that. This is so bad. And there you go. You have a gift, all right? See the side? Looks cool. This side? Kinda looks so cool. This side, however, looks terrible. So, you know, you got most sides look good and that's all that matters. This is a little harder to wrap. It's just some blue balls. Um, so I cut out some a, uh, wrapping paper and you're gonna wanna put this in the center of the wrapping paper and then just start, then just, just do this. Just, it's not even, just do that. And then, and then just start wrapping the tape. There you have it. This is a quick one. This was an easy one. You're welcome. Guys, I just watched a video of someone who had to put their dog down, so I'm just hugging the shit out of Charlie because that is the saddest thing in the fucking world. You're gonna live forever. Keith is getting home from work, and I'm not bullshitting you. He went into work just like this. <laughs> yeah, I went to work like this. Are those cupcakes? No, it's a cake. Cute. It's got the ears on it and everything. That's fire. 
so I was bouncing around on YouTube and I found this video and it says five things you didn't know about Joe Santagato and I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a disaster. I don't know who made it or whatever, but we're going to find out five things about me hey that guys, I didn't what's know. What's going on? It's the top fiver here and today I'm going to be talking about five things you didn't know about Joe Santagato. Australian? So please be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, guys. So let's jump right into this with number one. The first video Joe ever put on YouTube was a video of him waking up his brother by screaming at him. The video was only <laughs> 20 seconds, but he wanted to see how many views it could get. Actually, that's a lie. This isn't true. The first video I ever uploaded was a video of me, Keith, and my friend Espo, my friend Espo's car. I didn't even have a license at the time. And my friend Espo was driving, and we we're just driving around our neighborhood, and I was filming and screaming compliments at people. So I saw some like little girl riding a bike. I was like, hey, nice fucking bike. And then, you know, some guy was walking with his kid, and I was like, oh, I bet you're a great dad. You're a great dad. Lovely guy. And obviously, it got like four views, maybe, like whatever. But um, then my mom got scared because she was like, if you film people and you don't ask for their part, they could sue, and we're all just gonna. We'll be homeless. So I just privatized that video. Number Those are the two. Days. Here we go. Jenna Marbles was the only person Joe watched on YouTube when he first started his channel. Jenna was the one that inspired him to speak in front of the camera for the first time and record it. I, get, I mean, Jenna was like viral at the time. She wasn't like an inspiration, really. It was just kind of... I guess you could say she was an inspiration, actually, because I, this was the only person that I knew that I like I didn't I thought YouTube was like you go and you watch videos of like music like music videos or you know animals doing weird shit I don't fucking know but I didn't even know what a vlogger was or what vlogs were um until she went like viral and it's hard to ignore someone when they get like 25 fucking million views overnight or whatever it was um so yes and no I guess um Jenna's great she's cool no. Three. Here we go. Before becoming a full-time YouTuber, Joe worked as a pizza delivery guy and most recently as a producer and editor for Elite Daily, a news and entertainment platform. Nothing to say there. That's true. Uh, did work as a pizza delivery guy. Best job I ever had. That's a lie. Both of these jobs are really good. So the pizza delivery when I was like 18 and 19 years old, probably 20 years old as well, I was working uh, as a delivery boy for a pizzeria in my neighborhood. I would leave there with a hundred and something dollars every night, cash, not including my paycheck. It was great. Number four. Here we go. Joe once called out Alfie Day, <laughs> a popular British YouTuber with over five million subscribers, for stealing his video uh, The premise of the video <laughs> was playing the game Mad Lib with a mouthful of water. I don't like doing this. I, I have nothing against this kid. I'm sure he's a nice guy, whatever. It was just, I really think that he just took the idea. I mean, I I didn't, like, looking back on it, like, I don't even care, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think he's a bad guy or anything like that. I just, you know, I, I know people did Mad Libs on the internet before and have read it and just, haha, it's funny, whatever, but I wanted to make it harder and put water in the mouth, in your mouth, and then you have to try and not spit it out because I thought that just added, like, a funnier element to it. And no one did that, ever. And, you know, I put my video out and it did really well. And then I started seeing a bunch of people doing it. And then most notably this kid he, who has a bunch of subscribers and stuff, he put a video out and I just said, wonder where he got this idea. And he told me that he hasn't seen my video. I saw my friends do it a few years ago. And I'm like, what? Like, to me that was a weird excuse. Like, I wish he would have just said, yeah, Sorry, it was funny. And I'd be like, yeah, cool, I'm a fucking idiot, sorry. But he was like, nah, I saw my, two, year, I, two years ago, I remember my friends two years ago, they made this thing. And you know, then I just, you know, decided to make, like, I'm, I mean, dude, obviously not. But again, I don't have anything against this kid. I just, I don't know why they even put this in there. Number five. Here we go. Joe tweeted at Taco Bell and they responded. <laughs> Their conversation was hilarious and ended up going viral. Oh yeah, I, I tweeted Taco Bell and I was like, oh, I got Taco Bell for dinner tonight. And then they tweeted me back, a verified account, and I was hyped. 
they tweeted me and they were like, what did you get? And I tweeted back and I said, diarrhea, but it was worth it. <laughs> And then, like, uh, I, someone screenshot it, I guess, and it was just, like, everywhere. Like, you've probably seen it before, honestly. All right, anyway, my vlog camera died, by the way, so I'm using my other one. But, uh, yeah, that is all. Another vlog in the book. See you next time.